here with another video, man. Today I got a little how-to video for you guys uh, today, man, on how to fix your controller if it's not turning on. As you guys can do, I'm press the position on button right here, and it's not cutting on whatsoever at all. And I have my <clears throat> main PS4 controller right here, but this is the one that came with my PS4 that I really like using, and I will hate for it to be messed up. I can't use it. So, how do you simply fix it? So, this should fix any problem you should have with your controller. If it doesn't work, it is something internally, so you probably get it checked or you have to open it up, do something to it. But what you do is get something that's very sharp, very small. I'm going to use a hanger for an example, and you guys are going to see a hole that's legit. You probably can see right here, which is right here. Right here by the L2, a little hole right here. You probably can't even see it because it's light. Let me bring it up a little closer. This little hole right here, you guys probably really can't tell because the way the camera is. It's a hole right here. Okay, so black. Let me show you. Use this because this is so green, dark right here. Yeah, you will see a little color. You see a little hole right here, and you want to poke right there to reset the PlayStation control. So <clears throat> let's see if we can get it to work. And let's go. Here, click. Hold on. Okay, maybe the hanger won't do. Okay, so I go get a body pin that the hanger didn't work. So I feel like I want to break something in there. All right, just press and hold. Okay, so I am back like an hour later. I have to take a nice jog. So I put it on a charger and it actually started working. So like I mentioned to you guys before, get the bobby pin or whatever you can, a pin or the uh small thing fit into this hole. Stick it in there, let it reset. You will hear a click, you'll push it in a little bit. And if it doesn't work, let it charge a little bit and you should be perfectly fine. If that doesn't work, you probably have to know there's something wrong internally. So probably might have to take it apart. Probably have to, you got a warranty, take it back. Get your new, get your new controller and take it to somebody so they can fix it for you guys. And that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below with my answering guys. Question for you guys. See you guys later. I'm out. Peace.